All right, for the next few minutes, we want to show you how to rebuild your spindles because, you know, one of the things that racers probably overlook the most is maintenance of their carts. And whenever we designed or when the Icon chassis come out, we redesigned the kingpins on all of our chassis. And we went to a, to a different inner sleeve design and just the way we put the whole spindle together changed. All of our spindles prior to that time, the bearings would press in and which put an extra load on the outer race of the bearings. Well, whenever we went to the Icon style spindles, we went to a slip fit, which I'll show you in a few minutes. So what happens is, or what can happen is, over a period of time, the spindle bearings can get loose in the spindles. And it's not because of a manufacturing defect, that's by design. Um, we do this to prolong the life of the bearing itself. So anyway, I just want to take a few minutes to show you how to rebuild your spindles. All right, a good way to tell if your spindles are, are, are in need of repair is when they're bolted on the cart, be bolted to the chassis through the kingpin bolt, is to grab your spindle arm, and if you can move your spindle arm up and down, if you can feel loose play in your spindle arm up and down, chances are you need to rebuild your spindles. And we sell a rebuild kit, and what comes in the kit are two bearings, another inner sleeve, a snap ring, and some retaining compound. So what I want to do is walk you through step by step on how you um, take this kit and rebuild your spindles. The first thing you do is you take the old spindle, the old bearings out, which this is a new spindle, but you just have to take them out. Okay, now we've got our snap ring out. We're ready to take our, our, our bearing assembly out. And please note that the bearing assembly comes out one direction. It comes out the top. And on the older style carts, the old style spindles, the bearings came out each side. But these come out one direction. They all come out together. Just take your kingpin bolt, put it in the bottom, and you drive it out. As a tip, what you can do if you can't get it all the way out, if your spindles are used and wore out, these will probably fall out. But screw your nut up on it like that, up on your kingpin bolt. Tap it out. That's the old. And once you get it out, you need to clean all of this old retaining compound, any grease and dirt, you need to clean all that out. Take some sandpaper and sand it. I wouldn't really get in there with any like uh, grinders or anything because you'll take away metal. Just sand it out, use some, uh, some solvents, get it cleaned out real good, get it ready to put back together. All right, now that we got it all cleaned up and ready to go, like I said, you simply put your, your bearings on your sleeve. You don't want to put any compound on the ID of the bearing. What we're going to do is we're going to bond the outer race to the inside of the spindle. We're going to do that with this, uh, this actually called cylindrical, it's called cylindrical bonding compound. This is Loctite, but it's not thread locker. There is a difference. If you notice, I cut it right at the ring, which makes it where you can get your stuff, your, your, um, your compound out. So what I want to do is put a little bit around the bottom where the bearing will seat, just a little bit around the top and a little bit on each one. Now we don't want to put a whole lot. But make sure you get some all the way around. All right, we've got a little bit all the way around. Just a little bit all the way around the, the ID. <coughs> now we're going to do the same thing on the bearing. You can just simply take one finger and turn the bearing as you put a little on it. If you coat a whole lot of this compound on, what will happen is when you put it together, some of it can get inside the bearing, which will lock the bearing up. What we want to do, we're ready to put it together. Remember, this is the long side. It goes up. Short side goes in first. This should slide together. Should be any press at all to it. 
Push it in, make sure it's all the way down. Put your snap ring in. You want to look at your snap ring, you've got a sharp edge and a smooth edge. Sharp edge always goes to the load side of any snap ring for any application. So this means the sharp side will go up. Push down, make sure your snap ring pops out. That spindle's rebuilt. And if you notice, with this design, because there's no load on the bearings, the bearings turn real free. Old style spindles, when you would drive them in, we had the knockers, knock them in, press them in. Once you got in, the kingpins wouldn't, I mean, the bearings wouldn't turn. The steering was tight. So that's the main reason we got this. But this is a good idea to rebuild your spindles as they get loose. If you've got a lot of time on your spindles, maybe a couple wrecks, you may want to consider just changing your whole spindle, you know, replacing the whole spindle. But if your spindle's in good shape, you're pretty sure it's not bent, spend a little bit of money and rebuild these kingpins. It'll take the slop out of your bearings, keep your camera numbers right. It's a good idea to try to, to try to rebuild your spindles during the week because the retaining compound needs approximately 24 to 48 hours to, to set up to, it, to its full hardness. So this is really not something that we recommend doing at the track. You know, cart maintenance is something that a lot of people overlook. They just they get into, into the, the, speed, the speed stuff each week, working on tires and everything, and they overlook the, the general maintenance. So each week, check your cart out, see if there's anything that needs to be replaced, anything that's bent or broken. Uh, sometimes it's just as simple as uh, replacing some bearings in the kingpin. So if yours are worn out and loose, uh, give the guys at Phantom or your local dealer a call. They'll hook you up with one of these reboot kits, and you'll know how to put it together.